young man, six foot four. Was dual registered with Chiefs last season. Now it comes again through Cargill. Good carry. There's nobody there immediately. It needed to get out quickly. O'Meara is beginning to put a bit of pace on it and looking to send Cork Coronel through the gap. They're getting ever closer here, the Pirates. Moyle. That ball was, uh, well, initially meant for Cooper, but it was nicely picked up behind him. They're quite narrow here, the Pirates. Turnover ball here would be, uh, well, very valuable for Harper if they could get it. They've got no one really wider than the outside of the set, the, uh, the second post, but they're not worrying too much about that. They're going route one and they get the try. Try is scored. Was it Jack Andrew in there in the end? Offside. Tack off the ball. And number six offside. Might be, might be Tom Cowan Dickey. Yeah, I think so. And actually, some really big carries in there from the Cornish Pirates. They were all waiting so wide. Just here. They need to get really low in these areas. So difficult to stop. Tom Cowan Dickey with the first score. Cargill, no problem with the conversion. Oh, huge dominance from the Pirates now in that area. Set pit. Oh, he's got a penalty try. A real assertion of the dominance of the Pirates pack. And the crowd at that end cheer them on. Well, and they've deserved it, haven't they? They've worked really hard in that area. Ball's gone straight up from Day. Just done well for that not to get out, but now there's advantage here for Hartbury. If they can make the final pass, Moyle risks going up there, but Coulson has got a bit of room to get going and then puts the pass in. He's got support infield from Chapman, and Chapman might have the pace, the young man, to get into the corner. Charlie Chapman scores. Referee perfectly happy that he was onside. I wonder whether that kick from Coulson was just a bit too early. I wonder whether he could just put the hammer down and chase it himself. This is the uh, Harbury try from Chapman. Chip that came through from Coulson. Oh, stray leg from, from May, but a great pickup. Some good pace. Pope to the right, Lord A. Oh, bounces through the tackle. It's Josh Caulfield. Pope. Walk of the dummy runner. Now it's Moyle. Thinks he might have spotted a bit of room. Gets the shout on the shoulder from Laverick. Pope wants quick ball. O'Meara will provide the quick ball and Moyle will finish it. He gets his eighth try of the season and Kyle Moyle might just have sealed the victory for Cornish Pirates with a try inside the last few minutes of the game. Duncan, referee says that's time. Pirates clear the ball, and that will be that. Well, a try that was close to the death, sealing the victory, and crucially for Hartbury, it sends them back up to Gloucester without so much as a, lo as a losing bonus, which for all of their endeavour throughout the 80 minutes, you might argue that they deserve, but fair play to Cornish Pirates. They've closed the game out, and the try from Kyle Moyle has proved to be decisive.